Hey guys, for a long time I've been interested in getting a good ribbon mic. Now, ribbon mics have been used for a long time, uh, you know, for studio recordings, uh, for broadcasts, so radio, TV, all that. And it's because they have a very nice readout of the, you know, the sound frequencies in, in a nice way. For me, basically, I'm interested for recording guitars electric guitars, uh, both on amps and cabinets. And I'm interested to see how they, you know, they mix up with other mics like the SM57, that is a typical, you know, a pair, uh, or by their own. Recently, I was reached by Sure in Middle East and Africa through my very good friend, Barry Kassab. And I got the chance to check uh, these two uh, ribbon mics, the Shure KSM-353 and the 313. So yeah, I'm very curious in uh, checking them out and uh, seeing what we get. For this I will be using my matchless HC30 head amplifier and I will be using my Bogner 2x12 large cabinet. I will be pairing the Shure KSM-313 ribbon mic with the Shure SM57 that obviously cuts very nicely uh, and it has a very edgy uh, sound, so it, I, I think it will pair nicely. Because this microphone is dual voicing, uh, the front and the back have different, slightly different voicings, I will be using the front that is the, kind of the, the classic ribbon uh, sound it's slightly darker on the on the high end and so I think it will pair nicely The ribbon mic is completely centered on the dust cap So it's on axis straight and uh, SM57. It's just on the the cap edge <laughs>
to record with this great beautiful amp, the two rock classic reverb. Um, and I'm going to use two different guitars, uh, two Roger Sadowski guitars, the Semi Hollow and the SS15 that is the arch top guitar. Uh, so basically I'll, I'll be recording cleaner tones. And I will also use this uh, different cabinet, the two rock 2x12 open cabinet. But this time I'm going to use only one microphone, the Shure KSM 353 ribbon microphone. Uh, I won't be adding the, the SM57 to, to blend with it. So basically I have to really, you know, get the sweet spot sound wise that I like. And if I'm able to get the, the sound that I want without having to add a different microphone like the SM57 to it. So in conclusion, I really enjoyed uh, trying out these two mics. I think they're really great. Uh, I would say that probably you will find them uh, more versatile than uh, you would normally imagine ribbon mics to be. Um, I really enjoyed the way, you know, the, the roll off on the highs and the way they capture the lows. Um, the 353 being a bigger mic, has a, a longer ribbon, so it kind of reads the, the sound slightly differently. And yeah, I just love the, you know, the, the way the, the high frequencies the, and the mid highs, the, the way it rolls off, as well as the way it captures the, very nicely the low end and low mids. Uh, I would say probably it's, it's a very good mic for, let's say, cleaner sounds, uh, 
cleaner oriented sounds, um, acoustic uh, instruments, for example, you know, vocals, uh, upright bass, you know, all that. Um, it just works really nice the way it translates uh, accurately the, the sound. And uh, the 313, I just love the way it blended with the SM57, you know, just like you would imagine it would. And it does its job really very nicely though. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed uh, the two mics and uh, I hope you, you enjoyed the video and uh, I helped you out with this.